You know, I can't think of the last time I was somewhere that didn't have a computer of some sort, at work, at home, wherever. In fact, a recent study showed that more than 80% of homes in America have a computer, not to mention the six billion, that's with a B, cell phones all over the world. So what does that all mean? Well, it means there's a need to be connected. But more importantly, there's also a need to know how to connect itself. Lori Cook from the Richland Library says computer skills are becoming necessary regardless of your profession. And that's the deal, right? You've got to know or you're going to be left on the wayside. I know. Some people think, you know, computers can't live with them. But you know what? You can't live without them. Right. And it might stress you out because you don't like working with computers or you don't know how to work with computers. But that's no longer an option. But I think 2018, the Bureau of Labor Statistics says 90% of jobs will involve computers. 90%. 90%. Well, I, I honestly can't, maybe even, oh God, you know what, I can't even say driving a truck. I was out at, uh, at Clayton Royal Farm last week in, in a big uh, loader, and there's a little mini computer in the tractor. I was mm -hmm. thinking maybe if you're driving a truck or a tractor, but no, not even, even the right. new tractors have got little mini computers on board. And the other thing, too, to think about is even if you uh, don't know something about the computers, it's not as important as what we don't know, mm -hmm. but our willingness and enthusiasm for learning it. Because right. there's lots of things that I don't know when I get a new job, but am I willing to just tackle it and go in there? And sure. having basic computer skills will help you learn more advanced or intermediate uh, skills on, on the job. Right. So a theory that no, we're never qualified for the job we get, we just get it and figure it out, and then you become you know, good exactly. at it. Exactly. But that life. fear of computers right. is what's going to hold you back. And the thing of it is, maybe you don't want a whole career in IT, even though IT jobs are growing at like five times the rate of mm. all other industries combined. And pay $60,000 a year. Average. What? Right. But, you know, maybe a lot of us aren't going to go in, into an IT career, right. but it doesn't matter. Across the board, manufacturing, retail, restaurant, anywhere you go to work, you're going to have to have those computer skills. Right. It's like social media. As much as uh, sometimes it can be a, a vexing, you know, uh, mm -hmm. prospect, you got to have it because every single job now, everybody has a Facebook page. Everybody has got Twitter, no mm -hmm. matter what your industry. And a lot of times you're going to be the one, especially starting out, hey, why don't you go ahead and man that? Cause, you know. Right. And, you know, there's some basic things to go ahead and get those skills. I mean, there's, you know, your school districts mm -hmm. uh, and Midlands Tech, they have computer courses that sometimes you have to pay for. Right. And if that's not within your budget, the library has free computer classes all over all the different branches. But there's a lot of, I've seen uh, computer classes at places of worship, mm -hmm. SC Works. I mean, you just have to kind of go out there and look for them. Uh, you can also, and I think you may have a couple of websites you could share later. Sure. There's a lot of websites. The Goodwill has a great website that you can go to and learn anything you want to do virtually on, on the computer. But I think the number one thing to do just get on a stinking computer. Just right. get on it. Come to the library. Play around with it. Realize you're not going to hurt it and that you right. can learn this. And Although don't sometimes be you want it. to. I'll be honest. I, <laughs> there's one by my desk that I don't mind giving a good swift kick every now and yeah. again. Check it out the window. Seems to make me feel better anyway. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. Get your computer skills up. You're going to need them. 90% um, of jobs in the next uh, eight years or so are going to include cool computers. So you got to get on it or you're going to get off. Right. Basically. So right. there you go. Laura Cook, thank you very much. Right. Of course, the Richland Library offering free job skills, their business and uh, Employment Center. Free job skills, including computers, resumes, mm -hmm. and all that great stuff. Free. Free. Call Lori. She'll take great care of you. Thanks. All right, guys. Stick around. There's a lot more Good Day Columbia on the way. In fact, we're going to check in with Freddie Clairvaux in a few minutes, and he's live down at Strictly Running to learn about the impact of yesterday's, uh, yesterday's terror attack on the Boston Marathon. Stay with us. We'll be right back.